You are looking live at Bill Grehe Arena. The site of Saturday double headers. This one will pit the St. Mary's Rattlers and the Lubbock Christian Chaps. David Tovar, Brian McGlue, on with you. Men's basketball will look to bounce back to their consecutive winning ways. They picked up a victory on Thursday night, a hard-fought come-from-behind victory against Texas Permian Basin, and they'll look to add to their win column today. Five on the floor in Rattler Gold will be Monroe, who jumped, Alexander, Benny, Bolden, and Witt. Starting for Lubbock Christian, it'll be Bo Durham, Tyler Rogers, Anthony Brancato, Eli Baker, and Jeremy Ford. Now we have our first stoppage of play. David Tovar, Brian McGlue, you on with you. And well, Brian, explain a little bit about uh, our visitors this afternoon, Lubbock Christian. Lubbock Christian University coming in with an overall record of 14 and 6, 8 and 3 at home, and 6 and 3 away. They have a 9 and 5 conference record, while the Rattlers today have a 16 and 6 record as an offensive foul is called against the Shaps. The Rattlers have a 9-5 record as well in conference play, so this a very important game for both teams in the Heartland Conference standings. As we learned in the last game, the Shaps of Lubbock Christian are provisional members, so their record does not go toward tournament play come March. And well, hopefully this team is nothing like the Lady Shaps, who have been just drop dead impressive 20 they improved to 22 and 1 a 20 game win streak as Benny's layup no good and here these uh the men not shabby either six, 14 and 6 and they're taking on a, on a rattler team here that has been struggling lately it's been struggling as of late they were on a bit of a rattler coaster to begin the 2014 year one one lost one one loss won one, lost one. That happened for about five or six consecutive games. Rattler's trying to get on a roll here as Benny's three is launched no good. Monroe skies for the rebound and he brings it back down. There's Monroe again in the lane. Loses possession. Not able to corral it to put it in. Here comes Jeremy Ford controlling the offense for Lubbock Christian. Down low. We have foul. An offensive foul. That's the second one on Lubbock Christian. Let's see if it's on the same player. I believe the player stepped out of bounds. Oh, it'll be a turnover nonetheless. Good sign there for the Rattlers. Rattlers have struggled this season getting off to a good start early on. As that does not bode well for the early prospect. Alexander tosses one out of bounds. It'll be Shaps ball. Miscommunication right there on the Rattler side. They got to keep it clean against a, a, a pretty good team like Lubbock Christian. High atop the Heartland Conference standings, of course, will not affect the conference come tournament time as they are provisional members. Trying to get something going is Brancato. Tosses it out. Now with defending. Shot clock down to five. That shot. Taken, no good. A rebound comes out to Durham. And Lubbock Christian will set it up. This one from way downtown, bang. Anthony Brancato, the senior forward from uh, Houston, Texas, Westbury Christian High School. Knocks it down, big time shot. 5-0 score here, three minutes in. Brancato, an excellent three-point shooter for the season. 45% from behind the arc. Gets the first one to go. And he displayed the range there. Monroe doubled out to Witt. Driving. Alexander sealed out his defender. Alexander easily the tallest player on that floor. They made it difficult for him there. And the rebound comes out to Lubbock Christian. Here's Ford looking down low. Durham that's off his feet. Now Bolton on the run. And a good job there by Jeremy Ford not giving up on that play. Able to deflect that out of bounds. And it will stay with Lubbock Christian. Special day here for St. Mary's. It's the basketball reunion taking place. Some of the Rattler greats from men's basketball. Spanning 
across many decades, 70s, 80s, 90s, and the 2000s. They will be in attendance here for a post-game social. They'll be recognized at halftime as well. More on that as we continue in this game. Bolton flips one up, and he has Faldo head to the line. So far this season, Bolton shooting 50% from the free throw line. Getting that one to go. And the Rattlers have their first points of the ball game. 5-2 is the score. As Lubbock Christian will continue to try to play some offense. Good job there by Benny playing the passing lanes. And he is stripped by Ford. Ford has shown some quick hands here early on. He's able to deflect on, deflect one off Benny, deflected one off J.J. Bolton early on. Benny, the de facto point guard for St. Mary's, a marvel at his ability. 6-2, 6-3 in the mode of a Russell Westbrook, Derrick Rose, those new hybrid athletic point guards. And very good ball handler and a good decision maker to boot and he's a streaky scorer when he gets it going it really adds another dynamic to the Rattlers dropped off to Bolton down low tough shot rejected down low now a pile up on the floor three bodies including Alexander and Bolton's that will be a jump ball it will stay with St. Mary's after this media timeout 15-41 remaining the Rattlers trail by three early on stay with us more upcoming you're watching all the action right here on the Rattler Network. With 12 premier institutions across four states, the members of the Heartland Conference are proud partners of their communities and NCAA Division II. We are committed to the academic and athletic success of our student athletes. The Heartland Conference offers a vibrant championship experience with schools that are nationally competitive, engaged with their communities, and supported by hundreds of thousands of fans who promote a positive game environment. To learn more about the Heartland Conference, visit us at heartlandsports.org. Choose Division II. Choose the Heartland Conference. Welcome back, Rattler fans. 15-41 remaining in the first half. Be sure to check us out on Twitter. At St. Mary's Rattlers. We're also on Instagram, at St. Mary's Rattlers. Benito inbound, and Brancato does a great job of jumping the pass and almost gets away with that steal. The Rattlers have five seconds left on the shot clock, so they'll have to get something quick going off this inbound look for Witt to maybe come off a screen he's very used to taking some difficult shots with little time remaining there comes the inbound over to Bolton down to three down to two Bolton shot nothing but net with no In rim bad way <laughs> yes so that is a turnover on the Rattlers. That rush shot brings nothing. Good defensive stand by Lubbock Christian. Now here they come on offense. Oh, good defensive stand by Alexander. And it will be called out of bounds on number 10, Eli Baker. He took it to the rim, and Alexander met him. And he tried to bring the ball back down, and he stepped on the line. Alexander leading the team in blocked shots adds to his total with that one right there and he's trying to catch up on the leaderboard to those emphatic blocks joe monroe had a has had a couple i believe uh, fred wilson has had a couple as well this season here's alexander down low trying to bring the possession in and he has fouled 
Okay, they'll keep it on the floor. Players ready lining up at the free throw line, and it will be a trip to the line for Alexander. Justin Alexander, the junior from San Antonio Southwest. Transfer from Central Connecticut. Division one. First free throw is good for Alexander. Big fan of Alexander. I think his height and his length really just... They, they really help out this Rattler team. You have a guy like Witt and Biddy kind of undersized at the guards. And you got a guy like Alexander protecting the rim for you as you saw in the last possession. They're going to bode well defensively. Here comes Lovett Christian again. Jeremy Ford controlling, defended by Biddy. Swings it over to Durham. On the outside, here's Baker. Finding a streaking Holman. Here is Brancato. He saw the range. The three is long, no good, and Benny trying to secure the rebound and does. And both teams early on in the feeling out process as that three is missed by Witt. Good job there by Alexander Crowling that rebound. Of course, the tallest player on the court, so one would assume he has the easiest access to those rebounds. There's Bolton driving, and he is fouled, and the Rattlers Already amassing three team fouls on Lubbock Christian. And it won't be a trip to the line. Looks like he was driving. We'll see a quick uh, substitution. Ryan Thomas checking in for Justin Alexander. And early on, both teams ice cold from the field. The Rattlers yet to make a single field goal as Monroe is fouled. The Rattlers currently 0 for 8 from the field. Lubbock Christian 2 for 6. Yeah, other points coming from the line. Bolton hit 2, Alexander hit 1 of 2, and now Monroe will have a chance at 2 from the line. Joe Monroe at the line for the Rattlers. First free throw from Monroe, no good. Rattles out. Joe Monroe, the redshirt junior from San Antonio Stevens. Uh, Highly touted for his athletic prowess. Guy who can jump out the gym and has really improved on all facets of his game. He's become a better low post scorer, become a better rebounder, a better defender. And it's really shown through this year. He's getting the starting nod in today's matchup. Here's Ford. Defended by Monroe. Smaller guy, maybe trying to take it to the hole, but a guy like Monroe, he can catch you. Tough shot there by Ford in part to Monroe's length, but Lubbock Christian grabs it again. Rattler's trying to get that switch as Monroe kind of on an island there against the point guard. This jumper is tough, no good, and Marvin Benny comes up with a rebound. And good contest there by J.J. Bolton, able to force the tough shot. Down low Monroe posting. He is immediately swarmed. Here's Bolton again, trying to rework it. Plenty of time left on the shot clock, over 20 seconds remaining. Now Benny picks up his dribble, finds Bolton. Bolton working left, stops, pops, jumper, no good. And rebound out to Ford. Another tough jumper from Brancato, no good. Here is Witt on the run. Well defended and well stopped. Good job there by Jeremy Ford of Lubbock. Christian, he lays out. Hits the deck toward his own bench, and again, he does another good job stifling a Rattler rally. So we see some substitutions here. Cameron Pierce checking in, and Fred Wilson was really the hero of the UTPV game. Coming up huge in the late minutes. Eight points in the final, I believe, six minutes to complete a Rattler comeback. Again, it's probably about three seconds on... Uh, I believe on Monroe. And credit Lubbock Christian on the past several possessions, swarming Joe Monroe down in the post, making it difficult for the Rattlers to get anything going down low. Yeah, they're going to play the percentages here. The Rattlers, not exactly a great shooting team from beyond the arc. Maybe save Cameron Pierce. So they're going to try to smother the inside. They're going to try to force the Rattlers to shoot, at least here in the early going. And... The strategy seems to be working, and the Rattlers have not made a field goal here as we approach eight minutes into this game. Yeah. 
Here comes Lubbock Christian. Number 34, Isaac Cardona picks up his dribble. Now finds A.J. Lucky. Back to Cardona. Thomas defending him. Cameron Pierce deflects that one. And it goes into the stands. And I think <laughs> one of the fans want to keep the ball. They're going to need that right back. And as you mentioned, the Rattlers not known for their perimeter shooting, shooting only 34% from behind the three-point arc. In contrast, Lubbock Christian is shooting an outstanding 42% from behind three. So let's see if that statistic holds true in today's game. Hopefully the percentages play out backwards for St. Mary's. Here's Wilson. He gets that one to go. A nice drive, and that's the first field goal of the game. Eight minutes and 15 seconds in. It's Fred Wilson on the drive, and he gets the layup to go. Rattlers lead it 6-5. And that field goal was hard-earned right there. Wilson had to double pump and elude several defenders to get the ball up on the rim and in. Fred Wilson, a underrated offensive player. He's noted for his great defense, for his athleticism. And you know, when a player gets going on the other team, they usually stick Wilson on him. But he's also a guy who has a sweet jumper. And he can drive as well. Timeout on the floor. It's a little sloppy. The filling out process going a little longer than most expected. 6-5 the score. Stay with us. Rattlers lead it by one. So much to celebrate in Division 2. We're especially proud of our commitment to make a win. Division 2 student athletes have the 10 initiative to raise funds and help grant wishes of children with life threatening medical conditions. Nearly $3 million have been raised. Hundreds of children's wishes have been granted. We play hard, we work hard, and we support others in need. Why? It's simple because we care. Welcome back, Rattler fans. David Tovar, Brian McGlue, you on with you inside Bill Grigio Arena. Game two of our Saturday afternoon doubleheader. What has been a Rattler, an all Rattler Saturday afternoon. Softball with a victory early in the morning. 4-3 against Lubbock Christian over at the Softball Stadium. Over at Dixon, they are headed to extra innings. 3-3. The Rattlers tied with Metro State. Isaiah Matthews met at the rim by... Cordona, wow, you don't see that happen very often. Matthew's one of the most athletic players, one would dare say, in the conference, and he is met by Cardona. Let's see uh, Cardona now, this matchup on the other side of the court. Cardona spins, shoots high off the glass. Offensive board is good for Baker. And just like that, Lubba Christian has taken a 7-6 lead. And back to that defensive play by Cordona able to time his jump perfectly with Matthews and was able to get the block as Ryan Thomas unable to hit on that hook shot right there. Yeah, I would definitely attribute that as a factor of great timing by Cardona. And Baker back on the offensive end. He'll get a trip to the line as he draws the foul there.
Six eight the score here. As we're approaching the midway point of the first half, Benny's gonna line it up for three. That shot no good. And I believe three blue jerseys headed toward that basketball. Finally corralled by AJ Lucky. And it's gonna be a traveling violation on Cardona. Cardona, a case of the happy feet right there. Knew what move he wanted to make, but his feet didn't react in time. Turnover goes to the Rattlers. Six eight the score, Rattlers trailing by two. Efi AK checking in, he joins Pierce, Benny, Wilson, and Matthews on the floor. Here's Pierce for three. That shot, no good. Rebound out to Jeremy Ford. And Pierce, we see for the first time this afternoon, was an integral part in that Rattler comeback on Thursday night against UTPB. Yeah. Was hitting his three-point shot and in the first half kept the Rattlers in the ball game and played some key minutes down the stretch. Yeah, exactly what I was going to mention. And he really did a good job of keeping St. Mary's in it in that first half. Made two three-pointers, had eight points in that first half, and he played down the stretch, played some very good basketball to keep the Rattlers in it and then complete their comeback, and there'll be a foul down low. That'll be on 34, Cardona. And that will be his second foul of the afternoon. He'll head, I'll stay on the floor with two fouls, and he's done a good job defensively on the Rattler Bigs. And it'll be an interesting matchup as the game progresses. Isaiah Matthews against Cardota. And a three second violation is called. Possession goes to Lubbock Christian. 8.42 remaining here in the first half. St. Mary's trailing the Shaps of Lubbock Christian by four and great anticipation there by Matthews. But it ends up in the hands of the Shaps and a beautiful reverse layup by A.J. Lucky as he used the rim to shield off the Rattler defender and Lubbock Christian with the six point lead. AK gets it over to Benny on the right side. Pierce curling off several picks and a bad pass over the head of Efi AK and possession will be the Shaps. And Marvin Witt checking in for Cameron Pierce. Dribble handoff on the left side for the Shaps. And the Rattlers playing their man-to-man -man and the foul will stay on the floor. It'll be called on on number 12, an offensive foul. As immediate timeout is called. 747 remaining in the first half. St. Mary's trails the Shaps by six. Stay tuned, you're watching the Rattler Network. So much to celebrate in Division 2.
We're especially proud of our commitment to make a wish. Division II student athletes have attention issues to raise funds and help grant wishes of children with life threatening medical conditions. Nearly million dollars have been raised. Hundreds of children's wishes have been granted. We play hard, we work hard, and we support others in need. Why? It's simple because we care. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 747 remaining here in the first half of this Heartland Conference matchup between the St. Mary's Rattlers and the Lubbock Christian Shaps. I'm Brian Magluon, joined by David Tovar. And early on, the Rattlers haven't been able to hit their stride offensively. One for 14 from the field, 0 for 5 from behind the three-point arc. Lubbock Christian not doing that well either from the field, 5 of 15. Both teams shooting well under 50%. And right now, there's currently an official's timeout. The referee's reviewing a play on the replay monitor. We'd like to remind you, to follow us on all social media at St. Mary's Rattlers on Twitter and on Instagram. And on Facebook, be sure to like us, facebook.com forward slash St. Mary's Rattlers. And for all things regarding St. Mary's sports, be sure to log on to rattlerathletics.com where you can find all Statistics, news, schedules, write-ups, columns, you name it, RattlerAthletics.com. And it looks as if the referees have everything sorted out. Twelve to six is the score. St. Mary's trailing Lubbock Christian and the Shaps will inbound following the timeout. Ford working the point. He is guarded by Bryce Smith. The ball being worked around now. Ford gets it outside to Lucky. 14 on the shot clock now. Oh, and great help defense there by EFAK, but the Shaps able to gain the offensive board. And a foul is called on the play. It will be on Isaiah Matthews. It'll be his second foul of the ball game, fifth team foul for the Rattlers. And Joe Monroe will check in immediately for Matthews. Lubbock Christian coming into today's game with a 14 and six record. And that shot is good by Lucky. Count all three of them for him. As their lead now up to nine, the largest of the ball game. Here's Smith. Gets it over to Wilson. Back to Smith. Witt gets it in low to AK. Smith for three, unable to hit. And rebound goes to Lubbock Christian and they look to push the tempo. And that shot is good by Ford and give him all three of those and just like that the lead is now into double digits 
30 second timeout for the Rattlers as they try to regroup and get themselves together. 6.23 left here in the first half. Stay with us. You're watching Rattler Basketball on the Rattler Network. Welcome back, Rattler fans. 6.23 remaining in the first half. 18-6. Lubbock Christian has opened this up. They've caught fire from the field. 12-point lead, and the officials here trying to situate everything. And Remember, Rattler fans, a uh, special reunion of Rattler basketball great spanning various decades, 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. Sounds like one of those radio stations here yes. in town. <laughs> It'll be a uh, Rattler basketball reunion, and it will follow. This game will follow. Will be followed, I should say, by a Rattler reunion social. Take place here at St. Mary's University. Approaching the six-minute mark, Bryce Smith, Marvin Witt, Joe Monroe, Efi Ak, and JJ Bolton. The bottom of the floor in Rattler gold, trying to get something going. AK Posty, Bolton, deferring to Smith. Smith picks up his dribble, now finds Witt. Down low to Monroe. And it'll be a foul. Hitting the first of the one and one. And the second is good. The lead now back down to 10 for the Shafts. The Rattlers ha have gotten down early. We saw it on Thursday night. We saw it as recently. That's two nights ago against UTPB. That was their defense and some timely shooting by Cameron Pierce, who is not on the floor. That kept him in it. So as long as the Rattlers keep this manageable within 10, or anything lower than that, within the single digits, Rattlers could fare well. Still plenty of basketball left. 18 to 8 is the score. Smith finds a cutting and a rolling wit. That shot no good. Monroe offensive board trying to put it back. It's AK. Scoops it up, not able to get it to go, and he is fouled. And so that will put Efi AK at the line. AK hasn't gone to the line much this season. Shooting 50%, and he's able to make that one to go. Free throws are good. Eight point lead now as the Rattlers are trying to cut into this deficit. Trailed in by as many as 12. Here is Durham. Looking for Lucky and finds him. Here's Lucky driving. Offensive foul. Marvin Witt in position. And the Rattlers will get the possession back. Under five minutes to go here in this first half. An eight point lead for Lubbock Christian as the Rattlers try to climb back. And those are the little things the Rattlers will need to do if they look to get back into this ball game. Yeah, Coach Martins talked to us after the game and he told us that it was Lubbock Christian's execution of the small things or the fundamentals that helped him win huge. 78-51 against the Lady Rattlers in the game that preceded this one. And foul will go against Lubbock Christian. One thing Lubbock Christian has done is they fouled a lot here in this first half. 
Bowden back at the line. Hit his first two early on. I look to duplicate that here. First free throw is good for Bolton. Bolton, the uh, leader in rebounding for St. Mary's, a little bit conspicuous. He's six foot five, six foot six, is a small forward. Usually, that position doesn't lead your team in rebounding. For the Rattlers, it's been done by committee. Second free throw is good, and JJ Bolton, a perfect four for four for a uh, player who's 50% on the year from the free throw line. Pretty impressive, and the Rattlers back within six. The Shaps moving it around. There's Baker spinning, and he is fouled. It'll go against Monroe. That'll send four to the line. Correction, it'll be on the floor, so Bubba Christian will inbound from under their basket. So fresh shot clock here for the Shaps, and they'll try to get something going offensively. Rattlers have picked up their defense, and it's translated to offense. Here is Ford driving on Smith, takes it all the way. Good job by Bryce Smith. He got a hand on that one, and he falls on it. Good hustle by Bryce Smith. He's done a great job coming in as the backup point guard for this team, and he'll head to the line. And Smith, great defensive play right there. Timed his jump perfectly and was able to block the shot from behind Ford. And in addition to that, he was able to corral the loose ball. And now he heads to the line, shooting two. First free throw for Smith is good. Bryce Smith, a 77% free throw shooter on the season. Goes two for two here in the Rattlers. Don't look now, they're back within four. Really stymied this Shaps offense. The Rattlers shooting a great percentage from the free throw line. 85.7% from the charity stripe and it has allowed them right back into this ball game. Here is Jeremy Ford, swings it over. Holman finds Durham, jumper no good, and Efi AK comes up with the rebound. Here come the Rattlers and try to slow it down. Plenty of time here and a methodical offense has worked so far. Down low is Monroe. And he is fouled in the Lubbock Christian Bench, Todd Duncan, James, Jason Imes, coaching staff, not happy with that call, and they're growing a bit frustrated as we'll head to a media timeout. The Rattlers back in it. 6-0 run has allowed them a four-point deficit here as we head toward halftime. You're watching all the action right here on the Rattler Network. With 12 premier institutions across four states, the members of the Heartland Conference are proud partners of their communities and NCAA Division II. We are committed to the academic and athletic success of our student athletes. The Heartland Conference offers a vibrant championship experience with schools that are nationally competitive, engaged with their communities, and supported by hundreds of thousands of fans who promote a positive game environment. To learn more about the Heartland Conference, visit us at heartlandsports.org. Choose Division II. Choose the Heartland Conference. Welcome back, Rattler fans. 3.25 remaining in the first half. Rattler basketball on an 8-0 run. They trailed by 12. They now trail by 4. And they're right back in it as Joe Monroe will head to the line. Ford 
First free throw for Monroe is no good. And it keeps the Rattlers at bay. Second free throw is good. And now the Rattlers within a bucket. Here is Jeremy Ford, brings it up court for Lubbock Christian, met by Smith. Ford, now switching is Witt. Durham, looking for a body down low. Gargula, trying to post. They'll retreat outside, here's A.J. Lucky driving. And Monroe, and an offensive foul. It's another offensive foul on Lubbock Christian, and they have just had a whale of a time <laughs> with this foul calling. So much so the bench is up in arms, and the Rattlers have really benefited. They have used it to climb back a 9-0 run now after the Monroe free throw. Here is Bryce Smith bringing it up court. Finds Bolton on the right side. Defended well by Hol Holman. There's Witt. Tossing it back over. Monroe with the screen. Left side, Bryce Smith. Now here's Witt. Ball being passed around. Monroe posting, trying to get position on his defender. Now he's swarm, triple team. Here's Smith, trying to drop it off, and it turns into a Rattler turnover. And so Lubbock Christian roaring their approval, finally getting a foul call their way, and to the line they go. Line is Andrej Gargula, the freshman forward from Prague, Czech. Gargula, an excellent free throw shooter on the season, shooting 86% for the Shaps. Able to hit the first of the one and one. First free throw is good. And the second free throw, no good. Conspicuous for a guy, as you mentioned, shooting 86% from the field. The Rattlers will take that. As they are back on offense now. Smith, Thomas, Bolton, Alexander, and Witt now. The five on the floor and Rattler gold. Screen by Thomas. Bolton hasn't picked up his dribble yet. Does now. Overshoots Thomas. Thomas keeps it alive. Now Bolton stutter steps. He'll keep it. Screen by Alexander. Bolton drives. Shoots and a blocking foul. They're going to call a blocking foul. And that's in favor of the Rattlers. Rattlers will take that and Bolton will head back to the line once again. You can hear the chorus of disapproval from the Lubbock Christian Faith one attendance. It's quite a quite a bunch. Uh, a good amount making the trip from Lubbock all the way down to the Alamo City and. As much as it's been a big weekend for St. Mary's Sports, Lubbock Christian, their softball team, playing the Rattlers earlier on this, this afternoon. And now the referees will chat it up for a bit before Bolton gets set for the second. And Bolton off on the second, able to get his own rebound, unable to hit, but he will head to the line once again for two. Bolton not able to knock down. I think the percentage finally catching up to him. He hit his first four. There's Bolton at the line, knocks down the next one. Rattlers back within three. Bolton able to get that one to fall and the once 10 point lead for the Sheps now down to two. Yeah, indeed, it was high as 12. It's now down to two as you mentioned and now another foul. This was really heavily foul plagued just on the boards. 18 fouls, not including offensive fouls. It's gotta be up at 20. We had a game this season and go all the way up to like in the 40s. And Something St. Mary's you don't want to see if you're uh, a fan of basketball in general as that free throw is good once again at the line. 
is the European Gargula. Gargula again. Gets both free throws to go. 21-17 the score. Bubba Christian back up by four. Just under two minutes now to play in the first half. The Rattlers trying to claw their way all the way back. And it hits the three. Marvin Magic strikes from behind the arc to cut the lead now to one. There's a shot in the arm the Rattlers needed. Here's Durham going to answer back. That's a high arcing three, and he gets that to go from way downtown. Answering right back. 24-20 now the score. There's Thomas over to Bryce Smith. Left side, now Bolton. Had a little bit of a shot. Witt's open, he wants to do it again. Witt calling for the ball on the right side. Instead, they feed it in to Alexander. Has that huge height advantage. Durham only 6'6". Alexander on the north side of 6'10".